I found that the best way to change a habit is through slow incremental changes. So what I mean by that is, is if you pick a habit and you try and just instantly change, you're probably going to fail. Whereas if you pick the habit and slowly move through the increments to what you want to become, you're probably more likely to succeed. An example of this that I've been working on is trying to get up earlier so that I can go exercise. You know, my goal is to be able to do weights or running every morning. And, you know, given my normal waking time, I just didn't have the time in the morning to do that. So my initial attempt was, okay, I'm just going to nut it out and just go. I'll get up an hour and a half earlier and just do the exercise and just deal with it. And for the first week or so, I was able to have that motivation. I got up earlier and I was ready to go. It sucked, but I could push through it. Unfortunately, I couldn't maintain that sort of attitude. I couldn't keep getting up an hour and a half earlier. It was just too much of a quick shock to my system. So then, you know, inevitably I just gave up. And then maybe a month or two later, I wanted to get back onto it. So once again, I tried the same approach and once again failed. So the third time around, and this is what I'm currently doing, I decided, well, I can't force myself to get up that much earlier that's that's quickly. So instead, I'm going to set my alarm for one minute earlier each day. So on the first day, one minute earlier. Second day, one minute earlier than that, and so forth. So over 60 days, it meant that I was getting up an hour earlier, and it didn't feel like I was doing anything different, because each day it went down by one minute. So because I did it as slow incremental changes, now I'm getting up earlier than I used to be. That same jump I'm getting up. So like the hour and a half earlier or an hour earlier that I wanted to get up and go to the gym and exercise, I'm able to do that. But it just feels like I'm waking up like normal. And not only that, I can get out of bed in the morning without, like I'm just up and ready to go. Because the second habit I wanted to implement was, you know, increasing the exercise and training. And once again, when I first tried to implement just training, you know, in the mornings every day, and this is in addition to martial arts at night, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I found that my body couldn't cope because I was just putting it under too much stress too soon. So once again, slowly building up the weight, slowly building up the strength and the intensity and the duration and all that sort of stuff. The point is, is to implement a change slowly because if you shock yourself and go too hard, it may be hard to do. The prime example here that everyone would be familiar with would be giving up smoking or eating better. You know, the same thing seems to apply. When people go cold turkey, yeah, some succeed and they just quit. But most often people will give up for a little bit and then they crave and they cave in and, you know, and then they just give up, you know, giving up basically until, you know, the next New Year's comes around and they have another New Year's resolution to give up smoking. They do for another five weeks or, you know, one week and then they cave again. However, if you go the approach of slow incremental habitual changes, you'll be able to, you'll be able to accomplish it. So let's say you smoke 20 cigarettes a day. The next day for the next week, smoke 19. The week after that, smoke 18 a day. Slowly bring yourself down. Now, your increments can change however you like. You might cut it down by five, you might cut it down by 10, you may cut it down by one. But the point is, is that you're going slowly. Because the slower you go, the more used to it your body and your mind and the habit, you know, you'll get into that state of mind in which it doesn't feel like you're changing much. And because it doesn't feel like you're changing much, because you're not, you can actually make those slow changes. And you'll look back after a month, after two months, and eventually you'll be down to a cigarette or two a day. Eventually you'll be down to one every second day. So the idea is to take it slow. And the same thing for, you know, eating unhealthy and all of that sort of stuff. Now, the other thing to be aware of is there'll be days that you stuff up and that you binge or that you smoke or that you get up late or whatever it is and you break your habit. That's okay. Everyone fails, everyone falls down, but the key is, is to get back up and keep trying. You know, the worst thing you can do is go, oh, well, my diet's ruined. I'm just going to eat whatever I like. Or, oh, well, I, sm I smoked a pack in one day. I guess I'm a smoker again. No, you stuffed up that day, take it on the chin, get back on. Get back onto your re regime. Go to the gym and exercise again. Keep cutting down the cigarettes. Yeah, you're stuffed up. That's fine. The biggest stuff up is to let the one slip in that one day perpetuate your change to, you know, stop you from trying to change yourself because that's the real loss. So what I want you to do is if you've got something you want to change, comment down below and tell me what it is. So if you want to get fitter, if you want to quit smoking, whatever it is, write it down below and let me know how you're going to slowly habitually change whatever that is. This tip and others like it will be featured in my next book, How to Get Your Shit Together. So if you head over to my website at zachary slash get your ass together, you'll be able to read more about it and check out the other videos. 
And also, I'll link it down below. I've got a Facebook group that's dedicated to how to get your shit together. And basically, it's a place for everyone to connect, share resources, and ask advice on all things from overcoming anxiety, defeating depression, moving on from trauma, getting organized, finding meaning, and following our dreams. And the idea is that I want to create a community in which people can share resources and just discuss things that have helped them and that they think will help other people. So check that out. And finally, if you're on Pinterest, I've started up a Pinterest account. I'm at Zach P. Phillips. So head over to Pinterest, follow along, and you'll see some of the pins that I've been posting. Thanks.